What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back. Always, always great to see you guys. Good morning. We are back on DCS World today. What's going on, Ireland Fusion Elephants? David, welcome to the stream, my people. Great to see you. Yes, sir, and we are live, baby. All right, cool. So I think I got everything set up and ready to go as needed. Just want to make sure. I always got to double check that. Make sure you guys are seeing the stream well. Uh, again, today we're on DCS World, and um, we're gonna be doing some uh, some capture, some base capturing, basically. We'll be flying as F-18 uh, off of the hair. I mean, I said off of the carrier, and then uh, we'll basically just go capture some bases. I'll give you guys a look at the map here, what's going on in the situation. So we're in uh, the caucus map once again. Uh, this is the 4YA training server. Uh, so there's lots of things to do on this map. This is one of the reasons why I like it so much. I like doing this mission, I think. Let me take a look at our briefing real quick so I can make sure I know what we're doing. Uh, I think the server just started maybe about a half hour ago, so it's pretty early. It's like our home base is going to be Sanaki. Uh, the first base to capture will be Sukumi, and then Gudada, Sochi, Makop, and so on. And so if, let's find out where Sukumi is and Sanaki. I think Sanaki's way down here. Yeah, Sanaki's way down here. So the carrier is actually to the north. It's in the northern part of the map. So we probably should have spawned at the southern carrier. We could fly over. I don't really want to do that. That's going to be a pretty long flight from here to there. So we're going to go ahead and just switch our spawn. We haven't actually done anything. Yeah, it's 200 miles. So let's not do this. Let's not waste time today for sure. Uh, so, all right, I'm going to go ahead and select the roll. We're going to switch to CV in South, F-18 slot next to Harry. And fly. All right, so now we should be at a new carrier base. There we are. All right. All right, so uh, I don't see any air-to-air -air going on right now. I don't see any like enemy fighter jets except for way out to the northeast. So we don't have to worry about those guys. Let's go see if we can go capture Sukumi pretty quickly. There may be some SAM sites over here. So we're going to have to do what we can to take those SAMs out. I uh, wanted to learn how to fly, not fly, learn how to, to launch the, uh, what they call the JSAW missile. And uh, I just haven't figured out how to do it yet. So we're gonna do what we can. There's not a bunch of people in the server. I think there's like five people in the server, which is cool with me. I don't want it to be crazy busy. Uh, let's uh, leave the fuel tanks here. I'm gonna put on our air to air, to air stuff. We'll put on the 120Bs. And then we're gonna load up some AIM-65 Echoes, which is our uh, Mavericks. And it won't take long to get it upgraded at all. all. Right, 116 as always. And my favorite Hornet livery is the VX9 of the ones that are available. And we're okay. Oh, we got a friend. What up, Cole? Good to see you, man. Welcome to the stream. What up, Thrust Setter? Welcome back. Good to have you. Oops, too much. So it's gonna be fun. We had fun last week in DCS World. We had a lot of fun playing DCS World over the weekend as well. Uh, last stream, we were mostly focused on the F-16, but since then, I have decided to uh, focus on the F-18 Hornet because it has the most functionality right now of all of the um, the newer DCS modules. There's those uh, missiles being loaded up on the bottom. You can see, uh, I think the guy next to us is doing the same thing. All right, rearming is complete. Let's go hop into the cockpit. I am using Track IR once again today, so if you see me looking left and right in the camera following, that's because I'm using a tracking device on my headphones. All right, really quickly, let me go ahead and uh, fix my Track IR to make sure that it is tracking the way that I would like to. I have a special setting that I use for DCS World, so I can be a little bit more uh, sensitive, so I can look back farther. All right, we're good. Hi, Johnson. What's up, man? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Oh, God. It's maybe a little too sensitive. 
the cool thing too is you can see the guy next to you like he can he's moving like he's looking at me for real <laughs> so as i move my head around they can see it too all right i think we're gonna be good let's go ahead and get rid of the pilot power the land lights on Don't think we have chocks on. No, we don't. All right, we're gonna take the first uh, first ramp over here. There's nothing quite like launching off the carrier. I think that should be far. Enough. All right, I'm gonna put down the launch bar and hit U, and that'll go ahead and lock us there. All right, I'm gonna unlock our wings, or yeah. Hopefully he doesn't do it at the same time because we might actually hit wings. All right, let's see. Rudder trim. Flaps full. Put the lights in here. And uh, he's putting his down as well. We're ready to go. All right, after we take off, we need to go to a heading of 028. Here we go. All right, flaps up. Here is up. Go ahead and warm up that Mav. Oh no, I got the laser ones. Oh, are you serious? I got the wrong ones. <laughs> I freaking ah, oh, it sucks. All right, we're gonna have to land and, and re. I picked up the wrong weapons. I am sorry. You landed a real helo on a carrier at 45 knot wind yeah it doesn't sound fun at all all right so we uh i'm sorry we have to go back because i i i should have checked it before but we loaded the wrong freaking missiles you guys will get to see me attempt to do a carrier landing right here at the beginning <clears throat> what's up flying that's me good to see you man I'm gonna try not to move my head around too much. I don't want to make you guys sick. All right, the carrier's right there. Oh, hey! I'm gonna tell him I'm returning to B. I think he's trying to follow me. I right, hook down. Alright, we're gonna turn right base. I'm putting the gear down. Let him know I am landing.
if we wanted to, we could jettison all these missiles, but who wants to waste all those taxpayers' dollars? <laughs> what up, games? Only good to see you, bro. Welcome back. You change your name so much, Sherry. <laughs> I had no idea that was you there. All right, here we go. Laps full. fast right now I'm going straight in This doesn't look good, guys. This doesn't look good. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> I knew it. I was like, this does not look good. And we didn't save it either. Jesus. That's all right. That's all right. Otra vez. Oh, nice. I love it when it puts me right on the uh, catapult. Makes things a whole lot faster. All right. Oh, I can't believe I... First of all, load the wrong missiles, and then we crashed on the carrier landing. So, great way to start today's stream. That means there's high hopes for the future. It can only get better from here. I always forget which one is the, the non-laser guided. The F or the E. I always choose the wrong one. So, last time we went F. This, no, last time we went E. This time we're going to do F. Thankfully, it doesn't take too long for it to do the load up. Uh, we could take the pod. Um, I don't think I'm gonna use it, but we'll bring it. Maybe for later. Request rearming. Copy. <laughs> nope, it did not end well. How much does the F-18 cost these days? A real one or in the game? What up, Dugu? Good to see you, bro. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here, man. As long as you are. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot better. You can see a difference in the missile. The tip is just a little bit different. And I should have known last time that we had the wrong one. I should have known. I should have known. You guys are so harsh on Ryanair. Typical Ryanair landing. All right. Shift P. I'm going to unlock... Those wings again. There we are. Give the light in here. Wings are coming down. I think the catapult is not yet hooked up. There we go. Laps full. That's anti skid. We lost our wingman too. <laughs> All right, we're ready to go. Full power. All right, flaps up, gear up. Follow this guy out. Captain Geo, what's up, bro? Good to see you. Your reactions are no longer good enough to make it fun. Why is that, uh, Dougal? I don't know. Who was that? Was that Dougal? I think it was Dougal who said that. JWC, good to see you too, man. All right, headed back to land. 
All right, this time we're gonna make things happen. How about that? How about we not get shot down or die or anything like that? That'd be great. That'd be great. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, Mavs warmed up. Uh oh. Oh, we're gonna go uh, arm air to ground. There we go. So that's gonna take t three minutes to get those baby warmed up. In the meantime, we're gonna check on our SA page here. See what the situation looks like on here. Uh, oh, I didn't turn my radar on. Now you guys get all the beeps. And I prefer to have this in black and white. Good, and we'll set our bingo fuel. To uh, 1500. So we'll probably return back to base when we get around there. Ethan, what's up, man? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Are you guys uh, able to hear everything okay? Let me uh, check with my headphones. Ethan, we're flying the F-18. And check that sound real quick. <laughs> that thing sounds sexy. Shamrock, what's up, bro? Ay, 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 I love it. Oh, I love it. All right, let's level off. All right, where are we going? So we're just flying in like a random direction currently. Uh, we want to go 028. Uh, it's going to be 036 now. It's going to be uh, a little bit to our right. Uh, F-18 Hornets. Right, I think, wow, it's like kind of uh, hazy out there on the ground. Pretty cool effect. I, again, I don't know if there's going to be any SAMs. I, I see some enemies over there. Might be where I'm supposed to be going. I think it is. Yeah, it is. All right, we're pretty close. I'm assuming there's no SAMs here because we'd be, we, we, we would already be getting shot at by now if there were. Unless it's because we're at such a low altitude. All right, our camera is ready, baby. All right, I see some enemies. Let's go ahead and kill somebody. Let's go for this guy right here. Uh-oh, I hear the beeping. I think that's a guy. Can I shoot? Let me know when I can shoot. All right, rifle. Oh, there it is. Break, break, break. All right, let's go see. Oh, I got killed. No. Where's my missile? Is my missile keep going? Oh, I think we missed and we died. Oh, I killed it. Nice. We died, but we did kill what we shot at. <laughs> oh, no. You see the difference there? Remember yesterday or the other day we flew the F-16 and how whenever you get shot, you just like fall to the ground and die? Well, that doesn't work that way on uh, on this game. I mean, on uh, in the F-18. All right, return to base. Here is life number three. Oh, I can't believe we got shot. I can't believe we got shot. I can't say I can't because I can. I can 100% believe I got shot. All right, load up again. I probably broke left way too late. And I didn't pop flares either.
Uh, we're just not gonna bring the camera or the uh, the whatever you call the pot. We're not gonna bring the lightning pot this time. We're not really gonna be using it. The things that I want to use the lightning pot for currently, I don't even know how to do. So. I appreciate that game, Zoli. Alright, loading up again. <laughs> oh, God. I need some water. Uh, DCS is better with any head tracking device. It can be track IR, it can be um, um, uh, VR. I would prefer to play in VR, but I don't, obviously, I don't have VR. Man, that was quick. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know if they, like, sped up the speed of it, but I thought it took longer to rearm. Alright, we know what to do. Wings down. Put your hands down, guys. Uh, I like to have a little light in here, just so I can see a little bit better. Uh, rudder trim for takeoff. Formation, position lights. Uh, flaps full. Put the uh, arm down. Lock it up. And that's it. And we could honestly go ahead and uh, probably. No, we can't. Alright, let's launch. Alright, full power forward. Ah, that's so cool. <laughs> oh, that's so freaking dope. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I am not sorry, actually. Sorry, not sorry. That was such a dope shot. I love watching this thing launch. All right, here. Headed back. Master arm is on. Air to ground mode is on. And Mavs are being warmed up. We have four Mavericks. We've already killed one person with one of them. And these, by the way, are Mavericks. Because I know a lot of you guys are not uh, familiar with some of the uh, the terms. So these are uh, uh, ah, these are Mavericks, also known as the AGM eighty no, sixty five F. Let <laughs> me get some more altitude this time. I don't know what it was that shot us. But whatever it was, we're gonna try to find it and kill it. Alright, I forget that's one thing I always forget is my RWR. Alright, there's our this one is for the uh flare. If you don't turn it on, the flares will not will not pop when you want them to, so that's a life or death to make sure you remember to hit that button right there. Alright, I'm gonna climb up pretty high this time. Uh, we might get into a dogfight later. Right now, there's not any um, enemy jets in the area, so mostly just friendly. Set our bingo fuel for 1,500 again. And uh, where are we and where is the target? There it is. I see smoke. It'll slow down. We still got a minute. So we actually might get there too fast. I'm kind of going to go out to the north here and loop back and attack from the north side while we wait for our Mavericks to warm up. 20,000 feet now. I love this game. <laughs> I love this game. It looks great. It sounds great. A lot of people make complaints about little things, but you know, we always talk about on our other streams about how much, how good DCS World is, how good of a simulator DCS World is. I, I don't believe we've actually captured Sukumi yet. Quite a few targets still there. Got some up north. We could take this guy out, this guy out. Uh, let's see, and again, I don't know. Here's a Sam right here. 
right up front. That's probably who killed us, honestly. I'm going for him. That's that's my target. This this guy right here. If we can see him, he should be in this area somewhere. I have to find him. All right, it's ready. Let's go. Let's roll on. Roll on them fools. How do I zoom hands off? Uh, I have a little um, uh, thing on my throttle that I use for zooming. Like an axis on my throttle that I use for zooming in and out. Yeah. All right, it should be over here somewhere. Kind of hard to see from this distance. I can actually zoom in. Yeah. I these guys. Uh oh, he's locked me. We gotta hurry. That's not him. Oh, I think I see him. Oh, I think I see him. Yep, that's him. Uh, watching from here. Gonna turn off. Let's see if we can watch them. Where's my missile at? There it is. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. On the mark. So far, so good. Bow! He's dead. Shaq, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love it. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, there's another one right next to him. Let's go get that guy. I think that's that punk that shot us down last time. Alright, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Alright, I see our smoke from the last one. Should be one right behind where he was at. Go. Oh, camera on this little white speck. Rifle. <laughs> that's right, don't shoot missiles at me. Uh, you get blowed up. Uh oh, where's my missile at? Where's my missile at? Huh, sometimes it doesn't want to lock on my missile, so we'll have to look back and see if it hit. It should have hit by now. Unless we missed. I didn't get a notification saying it actually shot anything either. Huh, we must have missed. Alright, I'll try it again. We were like, that was such an easy shot. Like, there's no way we should have missed that shot. So I don't know what happened. Somebody else rolling in on somebody. There's a splash. So, the little triangle on my hood that's actually what we're seeing on the camera. Oh, well, something is locking me. I don't know what. I can put my nose on it, or I can actually move this around. Is that it? Is that, is that a target? No, that's dead. Might be. Go for it, let's see. Altitude. Altitude. There it is. Yep! Yeah. Boom! He dead. I don't know what that was, but it's dead. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but it is dead now. So what was that? How many we got left? How many we have left? Uh oh we have one more okay great we have one more map left so make it count tripix what's up man good to see you. welcome to the stream bro we have one more and then all we have left is air to air and guns yeah i don't see any enemy out here so i 
I hit it back. We're at 12,000, 13,000 feet. But yeah, somebody was asking earlier about uh, is track IR good for DCS? I, I definitely would say yes. Um, it's really hard to play DCS world without some type of head tracking device. You can assign another axis to moving your head around and stuff like that, but it's just tough um, to have to move that around. All right, we gotta pick somebody. I see Red. Let's do with this guy right here. See, if there was a Sam out here, I wouldn't be. Able to, I wouldn't be able to get this close. Guy, that is a guy. Come on, lock it, lock it, lock it, lock it up. Rifle. No, that's not mine. Where's mine? Oh, where that one's going. Okay, I don't even see my missile. Oh, I blew it up though. Whatever it is, I killed it. Alright, very nice. Very, very nice. Very, very, very nice. So, so far we have three kills and three deaths. <laughs> so we're going to RTB. Again, there's no uh, enemy jets out here, so there's no reason for us to go flying around trying to kill those guys. Yeah, so we're going to head back to the carrier. We'll attempt to land again. We'll refuel, rearm, come back out with some more firepower, and then uh, if that base hasn't been taken over yet, we'll come back out here. At what direction was I supposed to be going? Uh, 218. Very, 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 very nice. Yeah, man, success. We made it out there. Let's see if we can make it back. Actually, I can't say success until we get back and land on the deck without dying. That would be a successful round one for me. The satisfaction whenever you fly out to somewhere and you blow up some stuff successfully, you come back and land successfully, it's like, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I see the carriers over there. This thing sounds so good. <laughs> so guys, I'm really hoping, and I want you to be hoping and praying with me that uh, I don't get sick here in the next few days. Uh, I, told, I mentioned yesterday that my wife was sick all weekend since Friday. She's still getting over it. She's better, but she's still getting over it. And um, I really haven't left the house all that much or been around anybody else except for her. And I felt fine. Like I haven't felt like she was getting me sick. Like I haven't, I never felt anything the whole time until last night. But. The only big thing that changed was that I actually went to help my dad uh, pick up a refrigerator and uh, we brought along a bunch of other people with us, like four other people. And um, I don't think it's my wife that affected my health. I think it was somebody else that was there that was probably sick or getting over being sick because I felt fine with my wife around, but as soon as I go and be around other people, I started feeling the symptoms. Like I started last night, I got a scratchy throat. And I was like, oh my god, please no. So I woke up early this morning. Took some, uh, a little bit of like Theraflu or something. And uh, I'm hoping that I just don't, you know, I'm kind of taking it easy. I'm not really <laughs> pushing myself too hard. I don't want my body to be like, all right, we're going to get sick. Like, I really don't want to be sick. Something I don't think I even told you guys yet is that I am going to an air show this weekend here in Houston. Uh, I think that's going to be on Saturday. So, really looking forward to that. And it's one of the other reasons that I want to kind of do some DCS world flying as well. Is because I knew, honestly, when I get done, I'm going to want to play DCS. But 
I knew that with this uh, airsoft coming up, I was going to be really interested in fighter jets. <laughs> Sadly, the Blue Angels are not going to be there this year, but I think somebody else called the Snowbirds. I don't really know who that is. But I'm sure it's going to be good. I'm going to enjoy being around some really cool planes over the weekend. Yeah, I'll definitely be probably Instagramming the whole thing. So definitely pay close attention to my Instagram on Saturday. You're going to see a bunch of photos and videos come in there of all the stuff that I'll see. So, All right, we need to slow down. Uh, I don't think it's the red arrows. I would have, I would have remembered that. All right, gear is down. Flaps are down full, or they will go down full when we get our speed down. Not drop below the deck in this time. Power, power. Dead. Ah, dang it, man. Oh, it was a last minute thing. We were okay until right before getting there. We just, ah. We're gonna get one today. Uh oh, he dropped something. Yeah, he's using the lightning pod, most likely, because those are uh, those are GPS guided bombs he got on there. I haven't really figured out how to do those yet. What's up, high champion? Good to see you, man. That thing is almost done. I think it's like one more. I can't believe I died again. Our kill to death ratio is even currently. <laughs> We've killed as many things as we've died. Mostly the carrier has killed us so far. So far the carrier is winning. <laughs> what up, Nathan? Good to see you, bro. Hope you're doing well too, man. We need to, we need to talk again soon. Alright, Missiles 65F. If we do get a chance, I would like to do some of the anti-ship missiles at some point. Alright, leave the belly clear. One, six, and okay. Can't believe I hit the deck again. Alright, well we know that this thing reloads pretty darn quickly. Or not reloads, but it rearms pretty quick. So we're just gonna go ahead and get everything else ready. Launch bar is down, flaps gonna go down full. Oh, we just took Sukumi. Good job, guys. Good job, good job. Alright, flaps are down. Launch bar is down. I'll wait for us to actually load up before we uh, get on the bar. You're all incomplete, I see him. Very nice. All right, let's put those wings down. Yep, 
You're high on caffeine. Alright, wings are down. Let's go. Powerful forward. up get the water reflection in our mirror <laughs> were we on this one huh we launched on a different carrier this time all right Sukumi is now captured we are now gonna be going for uh looks like Ujada which probably is gonna have some Sam's, so we got to watch out. We're gonna have to watch out. I think that's gonna be waypoint two. Right, let's get the Mavs ready. Mass to arm, air to ground mode. All right, three minutes. Don't forget the RWR. Now we can see all the different, uh, some of these are aircraft, some of these are um, like SAMs and different radar stations, things like that. I can actually put that on my HUD so I can see where they are. So we might do some, uh, what they call, uh, was it the harm harm missiles where you can shoot super far and you can hit some of those really far away radars senior what's up man good to see you welcome to the stream I right, don't dare stop where are we I see 18 off my right that is friendly we are 20 miles away uh, heading 351 is where the uh, next base is thank you very much I definitely need a haircut one got one last Friday I believe it was I was already like two weeks due All right, this is what we're going next. So that is, uh, we're not going to be warmed up in time to hit that. So I'm going to head back to the south. And then we'll head back. We'll attack from the south. So we'll see how long it takes. All right, legit. Hello. Man, that was close. <laughs> so we've successfully captured one base so far. Now we're headed to base number two to capture, which is Gudada Airport. You can already see people are attacking it pretty well. Uh, I'm not getting any beeping or any sounds at all from any like radar uh, or station stuff like that, so that's a good sign. So you might be able to get a little bit closer in there than I thought. So far, no threats from enemy uh, fighter jets. I see a few MiGs way up to the north. They said somebody was just passing Novorosky, so yeah, there's a MiG over there way up to north, so we'll have to deal with those people later, but as of right now, we're just gonna attack their airfields. 20 more seconds until that, uh, that's done. I kinda do wanna try out the Mavs and see if I can laser designate it myself. The uh, laser designated, the laser version of the Mavericks. All right, we're, I think we're all cooled down. We're warmed up. Let's go roll on some fools. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can find.
Right, it makes it easier to look with this thing. I see a bunch of guys. Let's see. I don't know which one to shoot first. Go with the one nearest us. This one right here. There we go. We can launch from there. Pull up. Matter of fact, we can uh, go ahead and lock a second one up since we're so far away. This guy over here. Rifle. All right, pull up. We got two just came off the rail. Let's see if we can watch them. Is that mine? Oh, there it is. And direct hit, baby. Where's the second one? There's the second one. Oh, two for two. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, yeah. Love it. Let's do that again. Direct hit. I wish I could carry more of those. <laughs> like I can only carry four at a time on a Hornet. So like it's like boom, four hits and then it's a wrap. So I could technically have launched all four of those in one pass and killed four targets and then head back to base before they even knew that we were even there. Like that's just a thought about what's possible in today's like the, the, today's weapons, the, the thought of what's really possible, it, it kind of freaks me out sometimes. I'm like, you know, really like, and I know they use them. Like, just think about this, a, fi a fighter jet could come, just one jet probably, could come blow up your whole complex. And you would never even know he was there until it was gone. <laughs> Alright, let's see who we can get this time. I'll go for this side of the... All right, I don't know what this is. We're gonna lock, lock him up and rifle. Let's get a second one. Designate a second target. Nope, nothing. Got one. Rifle. I need the B2, I know, right? I need a big bomber. All right, we are, I think what they call Winchester when you don't have any more missiles. Let's go find our missile. There's the first one. On its way. And it's a shack. Uh, where's my other one? I don't know. That's not mine. I don't think. Nope. What is that missile? That one looks cool. Ooh. Uh oh. This is me legit. What, what bomb is that? I think it's a CBU. Can't even see what's going on. Boom! Dead! Good kill. That's a, yeah, that's a CBU 97 is what that was. That was cool. What's up, Stevie Wonder? Welcome back, though. Good to see you, bro. Alright, we are, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're Winchester. We're head back to base. Uh, unless there's any air, air targets out in the area. If not, we need to go back and rearm and uh, try and land on the carrier for a third time today. Actually, there is a MiG up here we could go for. I think this F-15 is going to get him, so we'll leave him out there. I think he's good. RTB people. Um, I think we should carry something different this time. Like we're, we're pretty accurate, thankfully, with those Mavs, uh, especially when there's no cover. But... But... We'll see what options we have. Maybe I'll take two of those and I'll bring like something else to give us a little bit more so we can be, you know, on scene a bit longer. Cause right now, like we're literally, like we're, <laughs> we're out of here for like a little bit and then we're gone. All right, let's head back to the carrier, which is gonna be 35 miles heading 142. I can actually put that in the autopilot if I like. Oh, that makes me now is locking me up. You want some MIG? I think the F-15 is ignoring him. Let's go get him, guys. 50 miles, heading 354, let's go. Going air to air. Since he wants to lock me up from way out there, we're gonna go kill him. We got plenty of fuel. We're half 
Our tank is half full. Wait, please don't tell me he just died. I think he just died. No, he's there. He's still out there. I always just hate to go chase this guy in the F-15. He's like, hey, a MiG. <laughs> There he is, locking me up again. You'll learn today. Make sure that the we don't lock up the F-18. He should be less than 40 miles. That might be him right there. Might be him right there. Yeah, that's him. Man, I'm digging his music. Gonna double check here on the uh, cheat map. Oh, wow, that F-15 is gone. He must have got shot down. I, I see a MiG and I see a Su-33. So anything north of well, anything in the air, north of me is gonna be enemy. That's 49 miles. So yeah, anything out there is gonna be enemy. So I can go ahead and attack any of that. him up soft lock there he is I think he's heading uh, to the right of us can't see him quite yet blocking me again and I keep breaking the lock for some reason Where is he at? He's at 17,000. Uh oh. Uh oh. Why can't I shoot at him? <laughs> break, break, break. He's already fired on us. Flare. My flare's not working. Flare? Oh, wrong button. Flare, flare, flare. See him. Oh! <gasps> Somebody clip that on Twitch, please, because I want to see that again. That that looked like it should have hit me. How did that not hit me? Did we kill him? It said we killed somebody, though. How did we kill him? I didn't even see a missile come off the rail. We shoot a 120 at him? Oh, we did shoot a 120. I didn't even see it. <laughs> Holy crap, we almost just died. That's crazy. And that was the action the Su-33. There's a MiG out here. Let's go get that MiG. That's uh, 43 miles to the north. That was crazy. I don't know how that didn't kill me. Like, we literally flew right under that missile. That's crazy. <laughs> Wish I could see that in slow motion. Alright, I think this is our guy right here. He is at 15,000 feet. He is flying towards us, it looks like. The good thing I like about dogfighting around the mountains is there's so many places to hide. Yeah, I was all like, my missile didn't go. Like, I hit the button for, my, for missile launch and I didn't think it actually launched, but maybe we just didn't see the trail. And we're actually getting pretty darn close to bingo, so this is gonna be our last kill and we gotta get out of here. He is, that's gonna be what, 50 miles away? Yeah, that's what we, I don't know if we're gonna make it back. I'm gonna come out of burner. We didn't bring any tanks, should've brought some tanks. I didn't think we'd be out here this long. All right, I'm gonna lock him up. I 
that little uh, blue dot that's showing basically where he's going. So if we turn to that direction, we can cut him off. Yeah, I didn't get any kind of like like uh, launch thing. Like usually it'll tell you, hey, you can launch now. You're close enough to launch. I guess not this missile. There we go. We'll use that one right there. All right, go hard or go home. We don't have a lot of fuel, but we're gonna go kill this guy. Hopefully, we can get one hit. If we dogfight with him, we're not gonna have enough fuel to dogfight. He is about 20 miles out now. 27, actually. Yeah, I don't want to be in burner. Am I in burner? Oh, we're in burner. Let's come out of burner. Let's load fuel. Yeah, he's at 15,000, so we're level with him. Shoot! Did it launch? Did it go? <laughs> there you go. Oh yeah. Alright, let's see if it's gonna be on the mark. Where's my missile at? Is it? I think that was it. Back, 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 back. Yeah, this is the one. Alright, he's tracking him. We might have shot too far away. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I think that's going to be a miss, guys. fuel for this. Oh shoot, we're getting launched by Sam's. Break, break, break. Pop flares. I think we missed, guys. It is an airbase right over here that he led us to. And that airbase, the Sam's of the airbase was just shooting at us. So it wasn't him that was launching on us. It was uh, air to ground. I don't know where the where it is. It's back that way, and I think we missed both, all three of those shots actually. We don't have any more missiles on the uh, on the wings, so if we want to kill them, we can kill them. I do it with the guns, which I'm completely cool with. Oh, I think we whip, we ran out of fuel. We are out of fuel. It's over. You're down. We're going down for emergency landing. Looking for a spot. Looking for a spot. Trees everywhere. Let's go over there. If we, can, if we can glide it far enough, we're gonna land right in that little strip. <laughs> Come on, I just wanna put it down softly. If we can get turned around, that'll be helpful too. The gear down? Oh no, the gear's not going down. Can I force the gear? Emergency rotate. What's the, where is it at? I, want, I can't see it. Can't reach it. What does this handle do? That's canopy jettison. Okay, I don't want that. There's a little button down there that I can emergency pull down the gear, and I can't see it. It's behind this yellow thing. Just rotate something for emergency gear. Not good. It won't let me click on it at all. All right, guys, we're coming in for emergency landing on our belly. 
we go. I'm not ejecting, I refuse to eject. This is my ship. I think we're stalling too. Oh wait, this is not gonna be soft. This is not gonna be soft. I right, eject. <laughs> oh, that could have been us. Could have been us. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the, the, the. I mean, I knew we were bingo. I knew we were low on view. I just wasn't expecting it to happen then. Oh well. At least we're not dead. We'll live to as long as we are behind enemy lines, so we may still live to tell this story. Gotta get an evac now. R.I.P. Hornet. Yep. I thought I could move. That's how I walk around. Stevie Wonder, I see you're in the, in the you, you said you had joined earlier, I just didn't know if you were in this server for sure. What you, what you doing? Where you at? Looks like you're in the 18 as well. You probably can't type if you're in VR though. Gotta walk back to base, I know, I was gonna, I was going to. Alright, we're gonna bring a tank just in case plans change. All right, uh, all right. So four uh, missiles. We'll take, we'll take the Maz on the outside, and we'll probably bring some uh, some bombs as well on the inner wing. Headed to KC-130. All right. Let's see. Man, I wish I knew how to use the AGM 154 because I would bring those with me, but I don't. Right, I'm gonna bring some GBU 12s, and we're gonna drop them like dumb bombs. We're not gonna actually. Uh, we're not gonna use a laser function. I know the GPU 12s are strong, so that's what I want to bring them. There you go. Excellent lunchtime entertainment. Glad to entertain you, bro. Glad to entertain you. Glad to be enjoying it. Oh, God. So apparently the Microsoft Flight Simulator Tech Alpha is supposed to be happening like this. Like, like the end of this week, they're supposed to be choosing people. I don't know how that's gonna go. I'm not even. Gonna, I'm not even gonna expect to get into the alpha because I don't usually get into that kind of stuff. Yeah, I want to get my hopes up. <laughs> I'll just wait like the rest of us, you know, and get it when it when it comes out. But pretty excited though for like production to really be going moving forward with the new Microsoft Simulator game. That looks sexy. All right, let's put the things down. Put the wangs down. on bro jam I'm gonna turn this up this is jamming right now bro run that back reggae vibes guys One of those days when you're just happy to be alive. Right, let's give us a little bit more warning on that fuel this time. Let's do 2,000.
me all the time oh. We overweight? Because this thing can go nowhere. I agree, Stevie. I think we might have been overweight, guys. Let's see. We had no lift whatsoever just now. No, it says total weight 44,000 pounds, maximum weight 51,000. So we were not overweight. Unless there's an overweight for. for the carrier takeoff. Takeoff trim was set, I believe. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to move. I was jamming that song. We're gonna turn it down though. Legitness. All right, arming complete. RWR coming on. Flare dispenser bypass. CM switch is on. Bingo. Two thousand. And that's all we need to do. Yeah, my gear had a problem coming up as well, so I don't know if I broke the gear. I'm not sure what happened. What's up, Alfie? Good to see you, man. I should be seeing you on DCS World, but you decided to get a 747 on P3D. <laughs> I was giving you a hard time. All right, here we go. Otra vez. Take two. Three, four, however many it is. I feel like for every time we successfully kill something, we die. All right, yeah, we're good. I think maybe what happened was I was watching it from that external view and I probably pulled up. You're not supposed to pull the um, the stick up when you take off. You let that. You basically let the aircraft get launched off off the end of the ship, and then once it drops down, then you steer it. Uh, no, I'm not on aerobatics. This is a different server. This is a hostile server. All right. Back to where we were, I think it's Gudata. Yeah, back to Gudata. <clears throat> right, let's get some altitude. And we'll get those mass warmed up. I still don't know if we killed that guy out there. That MIG. I don't think we did. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's still alive and kicking. Lucky. Lucky. He's lucky we ran out of fuel.
Maybe going ahead in 10. I'm actually pretty excited, guys, for my uh, racing stream tomorrow. For iRacing, I got some new, uh, I got a new, like, timing app. If you play iRacing already, you may already already know about it. It's called JRT Timing. It basically puts a lot of different um, timing information on your screen. It gives you a lot more information than what iRacing usually gives you. Usually, you only have, like, bare minimum stuff that iRacing gives you as far as info while you're in the race. Um, but I'm going to have some more information for you guys now. So if you guys are watching, you could also help me kind of plan and keep track of things. Because it's kind of distracting, honestly, as a driver. But as somebody watching, it's really good to see. It's kind of like more of a... It gives you like a, a full leaderboard and stuff like that. So let me get that hopefully fixed up for tomorrow. But that's our base, or I think that's where we're supposed to be going. It looks like Gudata. Yeah, it's Gudata. I'm not quite ready to bomb it yet. We're still waiting for those Mavs to warm up. Once they warm up, we'll launch those first. So we'll probably do that in one run if there's uh, two targets to hit. And then we'll drop the, uh, I think it's a GPU 12s. Uh, CCIP. Oh, I'm already hearing some being. Starly, man, I'm really looking forward to you getting into these PC sims, bro, because I see you, you talk highly about your P3D. And then you, we both agree on DCS World. It's like the one thing we ever agree on is <laughs> DCS World. So it'd be great to have you on here, man. Uh, when will I fly to Israel? I don't know. Uh, the same, somebody else was asking about flying to Sweden. I'm not promising flying to Sweden on Friday. Uh, most likely we'll be back on DCS World again. Unless I change my mind. So no Sweden this week. I don't know what that is locking us up, but we need to kill it, whatever it is. Let's see if we can find out what that is. Oh, there's another MiG-29 out there locking us up. Where is he at? Oh, he's way out there. Why is he locking me up? He has somebody right in front of him. <laughs> is this distracting right now? I mean, they can lock you up from so far. I love the graphics. Doesn't get old. I almost did the Nevada map today, but I wanted to actually do a carrier takeoff. And we took a huge circle in the sky. All right, quite a few targets on the ground still. We have some APCs, some soldiers. Uh, I'm gonna take the hit these. I wanna hit one of these targets. There's only four, so we could hit one, two, three, four. If we can knock those four out. I sh yeah, if we can knock those four out, I'll be happy. So let's go for this guy first. He's on the uh, east side of the runway. We're gonna find him. Great ground is armed, Mavs are warmed up, we're rolling in. Good man. Uh, is it this one? That one. Rifle. Get another one over here somewhere. I actually know it's one right next to him. I think it's this one. Yep. Rifle. Somebody else launched something out there too. That's gonna be right on the mark. Boom! 
Where's the other one at? There it is. Boom! Oh, we almost missed that too. That was just a uh, little radar, a little uh, satellite dish. Wait, did we miss? Why are they still there? Might have just dropped the CVU. Alright. Next, we have these babies. Yeah, mounds are out. Um, this is laser guided, but we're gonna drop it in CCIP mode. Uh, we'll do nose fuse, so as soon as it's ground, it blows up. Actually, no, instant fuse, I'm sorry. Nose and instant fuse, no code. And we're not gonna worry about any of this stuff. We can also hit gun, that allows us to use the gun at the same time. And that should be good. So let's roll back in and try to hit him. Not much left down there, we're about to take over Godada here. And we had some good practice last time when we were in F-16, X-16, dropping bombs in CCIP mode. So hopefully uh, I'll, be, I'll do fine on 18. Just gotta find our target. I know there's one to the north of the field. Oh, wait, successfully deployed a Humvee? Okay. I was like, what? I think I see one on the runway currently. Why does it say dud? about to kill that one dang it bro <laughs> I was just about to blow that one up and somebody else did I'm glad I saw it before I released because I would have been upset I wasted a bomb on it all right we actually switched to air to air on accident back to air to ground mode I see a few targets on the ground still. They might all be people. Uh, no, Alfie, there's like no restrictions at all on the server, so you don't worry about that, man. Yeah, it still shows that APC that I blew up is there. I don't know why. BTR. I will go for that again, I guess. There's a spa. We'll go, uh, let's go for this one. We'll finish this one off on the south side, really. But no, you won't get banned if you don't know what you're doing. Just don't go around team killing. If you go around like killing other players who are on our team, then yeah, you'll get banned. But that's basically like the only rule. That and don't take off on the taxiways. That's like a generic rule on pretty much all DCS servers. But that's why they call it a training server because, you know, it's for you to learn the weapon systems, learn everything about the aircraft you can do. Maybe next time we'll join like a uh, more interactive session with other people. All right, here we go. We're gonna try this again. Are we, are we in CCIP mode again? Okay, yeah, we're gonna see people. Let's see if it actually launches. Oh. You know, we were 
trying to kill that people. Yeah, so I'm trying to keep the line on here. I'm kind of like I kind of know how to do this, but at the same time, I don't know if I'm doing it right. <laughs> I think the bottom line is where it's gonna land. Oh, he's shooting at me. Oh, oh, oh! All right, it's on the launch. Drop. Let's see if that goes where it needs to go. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that did not drop actually. That is still on there. Oh, it says dud. I gotta find out why it says dud. Yeah, nothing fell off. Ah, oh, great. Like, usually you would use these bombs for laser guided. I don't have a laser code. CCIP. Maybe that's what I need to do. Alright, mode auto. What is that? <laughs> Considering you you don't know how to kill somebody, you'll be fine. you'll be fine, bro. Like you can literally come in the server and just fly around. You don't even have to kill anything if you don't know how to kill anything. So don't feel the pressure of that. Somebody killed what I was trying to kill. Oh, no, no, not quite. It's smoking though. Huh, it says dud. Why does it say dud? Ready ground mode is armed. Huh. E fuse instant M fuse off. The LGBs. Isn't this supposed to be like a circle at the end of this uh, line? Alright, so I'm doing mode CCIP. Infuse, you said off, and F fuse instant, and still has this uh, cross through CCIP. It doesn't say dud anymore, so that fixed that problem. Yes, you can join in the F fifteen. We're almost we're almost about to take over this base. Only a few more things to kill here. Uh, the server is was like 4YA something. The beginning says 4YA and it says a bunch of other stuff on it, like 24 hour training, something like that. And then, um, uh, what did it say after that? Uh, caucus map. Look for that. Make sure you're on beta. All right, yeah, I still have a cross through my CCIP. What's up with that? go off nope oh it did that one dropped that one dropped Let's see where it hits uh, is that what I was aiming for no all right so we, we missed by quite a lot that time They're good on fuel but I believe those exterior tanks are empty it's going to get rid of them I'm gonna jettison those empty tanks Dropped it in the ocean. Safe. All right, head back. All right, so I I launched that one. I shouldn't say launched. I dropped that one or pickle, whatever you want to call it. But uh, it was very off the mark there. So I'm about to try that again. 
I got it down like really good in the F-16 last week. I guess I need some more uh, practice dropping dummy bombs in the F-18. Alright, we're going for the same one on the right side of the runway there. So which of the lines am I supposed to keep on? I always forget which one it is. Alright, let's see where that one goes. Oof. It's actually not as... Well, it's pretty bad. It's on the runway, though. Guess I need practice with these bombs again. locking us up down there. Oh shoot, he's actually shooting at me. Where is it? There's only two targets left, man. Dang it, I gotta hit one. All right, we have, I think, two more GBU-12s left to drop. I should've just done the laser thing. I probably would've had better luck with that. All right, rolling in kinda ugly. So far, we've been short both times. Oh, there it is. With the dive bomb, <laughs> is what we call it. Oh, that's a direct hit, baby. Okay, I think I figured it out. So I gotta wait for that little plus mark to pop up before me actually release it. Nice. All right, cool. That's a direct hit. That thing's dead for sure. I'm gonna go for that guy back there. And we have uh, plenty of fuel. We're gonna get a successful carrier landing before we get out of here. Absolutely. I think everybody else must be going for a different base because there's nobody else. There's like one other guy out here. Zero G. All right, there we go. Come on. Relax, 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 relax. Right there is where I want it. All right, that's our last bomb. Hopefully we hit it. Ah, we were like 10 feet off. Oh, that was so close. Dang it. Right, we can do guns if we want. <laughs> Why not? Got it! Ah! Okay, I waited too long. <sighs> By the time I was in range, it was it was it was time to die. <laughs> A KA50 has been spotted east of Novo. Be careful. Alright, 
I'm gonna, lie, I'm gonna get on the bar first. All right, so there's only like a few targets left here. It's actually, it's just, yeah, we killed him. Nice, we killed him. And we just have the Bradley and a soldier with the M4 out here. We could take this thing over with a helicopter if we wanted to. There's Stevie Wonder. Are you gonna say you gonna you know finish it off? You had anything with you? I really kind of want to hop in a helicopter to be honest with you. Uh, let's see. Uh, what can we put on board? I don't know, it's crazy. Like, I feel like these um, ECS World Stream go so fast. Like, whenever I do a flight and, like, X-Plane, I feel like it takes forever. We've already been going on for... We've already, already been streaming for an hour and a half. <laughs> Let me uh, check on something. Yeah, there's no, there's a Huey out there. I don't know what the heck he's doing in the middle of nowhere. I guess we'll just go finish this one off. I just feel like by, by the time we get there, it's gonna be basically over. Um, let's let's load up with some dummy bombs. So I'm gonna come out with some MK80 whatevers, like a bunch of them. GBU-12 again. Oh yeah, F-18 heavy. <laughs> How do you ma open the map? Map is a uh, F12. I mean F10. Oops, sorry. Did he just say rearming complete? That's a lie. I requested a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, give me two twelves. Give me two eighty twos. Oh, he's doing it already. Never mind. I think he said refueling complete. Oh yeah, look at all that firepower. Firepower. Alright, launch bar is on. Things are opening up. Land lights are on. Full flaps. External lights. Trim. Interior lights. Right. Uh, he's not launching yet. His wings are still up. Yeah, we're ready. We are heavy, man. You can just feel it in the joystick. All right, we want to drop first. Like I said, we got the two MK82s. We got the, uh, actually we got four MK82s, four GBU12s. So we don't need to arm anything, or we don't need to wait for anything to load. We'll do the MK82s first. Mode's gonna be CCIP. 
infuse you guys set off. I don't feel like that even matters, right? Because dead. And then F fuse would be instant. Now let's put a gun on for backup. And we could actually program this to drop two at a time, but I'm only gonna drop one, so I don't think we need two right now. MiG-29 out there. I don't know where. He's way out there. Alright, one more target. We just need one target. Can I be the one to finish off Gudada? Let's go do it. Uh oh, he's already launched something though. It's F-16. I don't know what a Hydra is. Like getting kills in, with the Mavs is nice, but getting kills with dummy bombs is even more nice because like those are even harder to actually hit the target. All right, we know where this guy is. He is going to be based on our intel, just to the west of the runway, just about midpoint. I think I see him. Yeah, I see him. Right there-ish. All right, we gotta be right on the mark for this one. We could finish this guy off, which we hit him last. I don't know how he didn't die when we hit him with the map earlier. <clears throat> Oh, you suck. Oh, he missed though. He missed. Oh, no. Oh, uh, dang it. <laughs> you freaking F-16. Good job, man. Good job. I don't know what that was. He shot it down there. That was really cool, though. But I was trying to blow it up. I want to be selfish. There's a, a tank squad actually over here. I see him. I'm getting him. Alright, I'm gonna switch to... Uh, uh, actually, I wanna program these. I'm gonna drop two at a time. change it to be honest with you. It says ridicule. How do I change it? I can't remember how to change it from uh, like one at a time to drop in two at a time. I know it's in the program settings, but the only thing I see over here on the uh, UFC is uh, ridicule. Maybe it's in the mode. Oh. There you go.
Oh well, not gonna worry about it. Do one at a time then. What up? Easy, good to see you, man. Welcome to the stream. How you feeling? That's so funny. Alright, where are these punks at? Don't see them. Unless somebody else killed them already, which I wouldn't be surprised. We could also be too far away. I last saw them northeast of Gudada. Like right over here somewhere. Oh, there they are. I know a good man. Thanks for asking. Oh, there it is. Somebody's shooting them with something. Yeah, I see lots of fighting going on down there. Alright, we're gonna roll on on them. They are moving and, uh,. So a bunch of them, so I'm gonna have to try to hit them. That's why I want to drop like multiple bombs at once, but I can't remember how to change the program. But we're just gonna do one at a time. Yeah, we did. We dropped one. I right, see where it goes. Uh, I'm pretty sure we missed. <laughs> this will be a perfect opportunity for some CBU 97s and the F-16. This will be a perfect situation for that. You get a small group of tanks. see them. Actually, I don't. Oh, there they are. We weakened them for sure. I mean, I don't know if, I don't know if it's up to it was because of me or somebody else. I'm just saying they're weaker than they were. <laughs> see a drop. I know it came off. Yeah. We're another MK-82 short, so. Lovely. Start the aircraft and it won't move. Flight state doesn't move. Uh, check your um, controls. Which I'm pretty sure you've done already. That's all I can think of right now. It does not automatically drop the bombs. I have to do it manually. That's why I'm missing. <laughs> Get to fly right on the mark. That one hits anything. <laughs> I'm just like basically sh dropping them and hoping it hits something. That's not mine. That's not mine. That's not mine. That might have been mine. I don't see mine. Definitely not mine because I dropped the MK2, not a GP12. Pretty sure we missed. Now we have one more MK-82 on the under the wing, on the right wing. We we'll drop that one. I mean, if we're missing, we're definitely scaring the heck out of them. <laughs> we're probably scaring the heck out of them. Come on. 
All right, okay, cool. Uh, I think you can actually see how many G's I'm pulling. See the G right there? We're pulling six in this turn. Six G's. And we hit it. We didn't hurt. We didn't kill him, but we, we hit him. So that's a direct hit. Just didn't kill him yet. But uh, just so you know, that was a warning shot. The next one's going to murder him. So yeah, so for you, you were saying that it's probably four G's. So right here, this is this one says 0.09. That's how many G's we're pulling. Mach 0 0.085 is how fast we're going, and I don't know what the other six means. I think the six is uh, the most we've pulled like lately or something like that. So, yeah, yeah, that's saying basically the max G's we've pulled already. Not sure why I need that information, but. Oh, we blew it up. Whatever it was is dead now. All right, switch into the GBU-12. And uh, I gotta set that up too. Mode, CCIP. Infuse, off. Instant, all right. Turn, 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 turn. Constantly, what plane are you in, Alfie? Oh, we missed. I think we missed that one. They're firing back at us, though. I think we missed that one. Do we have a tank underneath? We do. Is it still? It's empty. Yeah, it's empty. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. That tank is weighing us down. Gone. F15. Uh, the beeping is probably just an enemy nearby. What uh, airport are you at? Alright, we have, I think, three more of these things. Yeah, we do. Alright, CCIP is crossed out, but it was like that last time. You got it? That's what happens sometimes. You fix things and don't know how the heck you fixed it. Just by a little bit. It's telling me to pull up. <laughs> Can you imagine hearing that flying by? Right, we definitely missed that shot. Uh, two more left on the right. I'm gonna go uh, with the gun this time. No, nah, no, nah, we'll try. Uh, Alfie, where are you at though? What airport did you spawn in at? Are you at Gudata or did you spawn in at the original home base? Let's get some more altitude this time. It seemed like it was easier to aim when I had higher altitude. If I take it off from Miles Dock towards Makey, I don't know what that is, but it sounds bad. That's what I like about this mission. Like, there's a lot of random events that happen. Make you scramble the jets. Alright, 
All right, pickle. Ah, we freaking missed. Man, look how close we were though. Just by a little bit, just by a little bit. Oh, you don't, to close the map, F10 to open the map, F1. Let's go back to your, your, um, your aircraft. Or F2, whichever, any other camera takes you off the map. I'm always willing to help people because most people who get into DCS don't have any help. I didn't have any help when I first got into DCS. All the stuff that I do know, which I don't feel like as much, I had to learn on my own or from YouTube videos. I didn't have anybody showing me the way. it oh we're not gonna get that <laughs> uh, once you get on the map <laughs> so I'm like watch my screen I'm on F10 this is not where I am right this is some of the random place to find yourself at the top of the bar up here is a little like arrow like a navigation arrow click on that that'll center your the map on your it's no problem no problem All right, our time is almost up today. We gotta kill these guys. And then we're gonna try to hop back to the carrier and hopefully land <laughs> for our last attempt. I do have to get out of here soon. We've had a lot of good kills though. We've uh, almost taken over two bases. Actually, we did, we took over two bases. Uh, now we're just defending this base. That's why I'm killing these tanks that spawn just outside of the uh, airbase. If uh, if he doesn't kill it, uh, we'll definitely come back and hit it with the guns if we need to. Let's get the air to ground mode though. And we're already in CCIP. Here's Sanaki. All right, so you're south of here. You're not far. That's just where. Uh, that's our first main base that you're at currently. Looks like they just put up a rolling sand system close to Krasnodar. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm forcing it. Drop. Give it to me. Where's my missile? Dang it, man. I think we hit it. No, we didn't. Yeah, we definitely missed. Uh, all right, well, finish them off with the guns. They're still heading towards the air base. Keep my eye on them. And we're good on fuel. As long as we kill these guys. All right, Tom from the F-18s, Bert. It's not a not an A-10, but uh, we'll see what we can do. But try not to die this time. Try not to kamikaze these tanks and actually kill them. All right, here we go. Wait for it to say in range. Hit him. And you have to be really low <laughs> for that thing to get in range. We have 258 rounds left, I think is what that says. Such happy music. 
for such a violent action. <laughs> Your back left gear isn't going up. That's funny. You probably took off and broke it. You probably uh, overspeed it, oversped the gear, and it probably is not working anymore. So just be careful when you come back and land. We hit him only 2% damage though. Actually, honestly, we could land here. This is our base now. We could land here and uh, I want to kill those tanks. That's a very bad takeoff. It takes some time to get used to it, that's all. Alright, run right downwind, runway, whatever this is. There's a Harrier down there. on the runway. The tank has a dead tank on the... <laughs> we gotta slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. We're not gonna make it. Definitely not gonna make it. Uh, we're gonna die anyways. Wow, I have not successfully got back on the ground at all today. Come on, make the gap, make the gap, dead. <laughs> oh my god, how embarrassing! Oh god. Okay, this is our last one. I just want to kill that tank, and we're out of here. All right, guys. That's all I want to do is kill the tank. We'll kill the tank, land on the carrier, industry. That is the goal. See how well we say to stick to the plan. Taking what I know I can kill it with. As well, we're bringing some rockets out too. For fun. I think I want the 68. No, I'll take that one. Complete. 
We have one mission and one mission only. Kill those freaking tanks before they get to Gudata. Without dying again. And then return to the carrier without dying as well. That is the goal. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. We didn't we didn't lock up. <laughs> that would have been funny. Trying to launch from the carrier without actually getting on a catapult. Alright, we're on it now. Full power ahead. Laps up. All right, tanks. Enjoy your last two, three minutes. Life. Heading 2-5. He's almost dead though, look at this. One of them's almost dead, so we almost killed one of them with the guns, but he's still alive. Sammy, what's up man? What's wrong? <laughs> what's your problem? F-16's rolling in, possibly to take out that tank as well. And that is Sue something. Alright, where is this guy? Alright, there's a base. And the tank should be over there somewhere. minute so that map is warmed up honestly we could probably knock out the strong one or the, the weak one with the rockets or with the gun and not waste the map but the other guy what are you doing with the map as soon as I find him Unless somebody killed him already. Would not be surprising. Oh, I see him. They're alive. They are alive. I'm gonna go rockets because I'm not I won't wait. I do not want to wait. The Mav. I see him. Thank you, person someone hates for the super chat donation. Appreciate the support. Appreciate that so much, buddy. All right, here's our target right here. Waiting for it to say in range. We got 76 rockets ready to launch on this baby. Come on, he didn't die. He survived that? How the heck did he survive that? How the heck did he survive that? We 
Alright, we still got a bunch more of those left. You crashed into a pole on the ground, or were you just flying low and crazy? Alright. Your time is done. Mr. Bradley. I was like, Glare, that's not helpful. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Where's his buddy? Got him. Got him. That's a wrap, baby. You're welcome. All right, I think we only had two of them. Yeah, we only had two of them, so. Little babe. Unless there's anything else out here to kill, we are return to base. We are RTB. No, oh, it's the carrier. Alpha, you landed and you departed again and somehow ended up in a radio pole. <laughs> it happens, it happens, but that's really funny. Alright, let's see if we can actually land on a carrier successfully for the first time this stream. So far, we've had, what, three, four attempts? And we've died every single time, so. All right, 20 miles out, one nine or eight is the heading. And we're gonna go ahead and jettison all of uh, everything we have on the wings. Getting rid of A thing. I think it's gone. You need a pretty strong computer, honestly. Yeah, we're clean. Uh, you need a pretty strong computer, honestly, to run DCS World. So that could be one reason it wasn't working for you very well. I, I think I see the carriers. Well, guys, I want to say thank you so much for uh, watching and stick around with me today. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this. Uh, if you're in the U.S., this is probably your lunchtime entertainment. I really appreciate you guys and stopping by and saying hi while you're at work or at school, wherever you are. I do want to say yesterday, we did a stream yesterday on uh, the Vatsim and this new audio and stuff. Uh, I was flying on Vatsim again, I think, early this morning. Just a small little FS Economy flight in a TBM uh, over in Florida. And uh, it was pretty cool. I actually was on Unicom. It was my first time hearing somebody make radio calls on Unicom. And it was like, oh, this is really actually actually really cool. And it was kind of fuzzy, um, but it was it's supposed to be fuzzy because of where I was in, you know, in reference to where the other plane was. So it's just really cool um, actually hearing real voices on Unicom making, uh, you know, radio pattern calls and things like that. It's just kind of realistic. So I actually really, really like that. I think that's probably one of my favorite things. I mean, obviously the audio being updated is great, but I think that's really cool being able to finally have audio on Unicom. So I'm just hoping people don't abuse it, abuse it and they end up getting taken away or something. All right, let's go unarm. We can do a uh, low pass over the carrier. And then we'll break into the pattern. Right now we're at Mach 1.2, so we're going really fast. Seven point six G's. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm a land on a carrier just like this. <laughs> just kidding. All right. 
Let's hook down. Land lights are on. You're coming down. And we're gonna land on that one. We took off on the second one though. We'll take the second. We're closer to that. We'll take the second one. All right, guys. Let's try not to hit the butt. All right, turning left base for our carrier approach. And it's a uh, shut the music off for this one. Focus on the approach. Don't you hate when people are like, "Hey, turn the music off," like whenever you're trying to get directions or whenever somebody's trying to park. Like I hate that. <laughs> I don't know if this will be the same. I'm like, the music wasn't distracting you in the first place. But I don't know. Like I hate when I'm driving or somebody else is driving and we're like jamming the music and like they start parking, like parallel parking or trying to find out where they're going and like turn the music down. I'm like, why does the music matter? <laughs> Oh no, I guess I've never been that way. I've usually been pretty good with directions. But oh, Keaton, good to see you, man. Just in time for the carrier landing that we hopefully will make successfully this time. Flaps are full, gears down, three green hooks down. And we have clearance. The hardest part for me that I've been struggling with is really uh, throttle management here. Woo, we made it! Oh, I think that was the last wire. I think that was, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, that was, yeah, that was the last wire. Jeez, we barely made it, guys. We barely made it. Great way, though, to end the stream. Welcome to this carrier. <laughs> I don't know the name of it, but uh, mission successful, people. Mission successful. All right, wings are folded up, or they're folding. The world is safe again. All right, well, guys, you are amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. We're going to watch this guy take off, and then we can get out of here. But um, come back. Uh, I plan on doing some more DCS World on Friday. That's my plan, but it might, that might change. So don't, don't take my word for it too much. But tomorrow we'll be racing on NASCAR. Should be a fun one. Hopefully we survive. Come on, park and break. And engine off. Man, that's a lot of missiles on that thing. He's going air to air, it looks like. Oh, person who someone hates. I didn't realize that you had a message with that donation. Uh, hey, man, love your YouTuber. Uh, you're a great YouTuber. Love you. Love your view and keep up the great work. Thanks again, man, for that super chat donation. I really do appreciate that. Oh, man. All right, well, guys, I don't know how long it's going to take this guy to get out of here. Uh, so I'm not going to stick around for too long. But thank you so, again so much for watching. Always very appreciative. And um, definitely come back. I'm working on some more videos. That just reminds me. It's going to be a very busy week for me <laughs> this week. Uh, so thanks for watching. Remember, you got three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time. Next video. I'm out.